All right, YouTubers, we're back here on Moonshine on my old Navy launch. I want to talk just briefly about gauges. Um, so I recently had a issue where my RPM gauge stopped working and on these older motors, uh, most likely it's going to be um, a mechanical uh, gauge. And so what you'll have, pretty easy to tell, you'll either have a wire going from your RPM gauge to say the alternator, uh, in which case, you know, that's an electrical gauge, or you'll have, looks like a steering key cable, kind of a fat wire like this, and that will indicate that you have mechanical gauges. So if you have a 671 like I do, um, the RPM gauge is gonna actually be run off the blower. You see this little fitting right here. And I'm gonna try to angle down here so you can see what it looks like. Hopefully you can see. You see that little keyway down there. And that's where it's gonna go into. So anyway, the uh, dead giveaway that it was the wire and not the gauge was my old one had heated up so hot right here that it basically melted the outer sheath, which told me that the friction side had broken the wire. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> These gauge wires are not cheap. So this hole, this is a 12 foot piece. Uh, that cost me a absolutely ridiculous $300 to get remade. And that was in Fort Lauderdale with the company that makes them. So just be aware that to get your RPM gauge back, it's going to cost you. And it's gonna cost you a lot. It's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. But obviously, if you're in the wire gauge making business, you're making pretty good money. Now something interesting about these RPM gauges, um, if they are mechanical, then they're run off the blower speed, right? And because that speed will change with the acceleration of the engine, it's kind of set to an average of 1,000 RPM to click one hour. Now, I discovered this kind of the hard way. I was cruising along, and my logbook and my hour meter weren't exactly matching up. And the reason they weren't matching up is because it was set to about 1,000 RPM, and I run this boat largely in idle. So I was undercutting the number of hours there should have been. So what I did was I put in an electronic hour meter just for oil changes to make my life a little bit easier. And I connected that directly to my alternator. So whenever my alternator is producing power, the electronic hour meter is recording it as a one hour basis and accurately. Um, I mainly want the RPM gauge just so I can know what speed I'm making. And if there's any kind of main changes, um, you know, in the engine performance over time. Now, something else to consider is whether or not you should have mechanical gauges or electronic gauges. Now, some newer engines is not really optional, but on this old beast of a 671 here, uh, I've opted for entirely mechanical gauges. And the reason for that is I wanna know when it's actually not feeling oil pressure. I wanna know when the temperature is actually too high. The problem with electronic gauges is a lot of these centers can go bad. Uh, you can get resistance on each of the wires, you know, starts to send you the wrong message saying you have no oil pressure just because it's lost electrical connection. The nice thing about mechanical gauges is, you know, the oil pressure gauge is a little catheter tube where the oil actually goes all the way to the helm and actually presses the gauge. So if there's zero on the oil uh, gauge when it's mechanical, you know there's no oil pressure and that's a really big problem. Or if the temperature is too high, you know, it has an actual catheter right here that's mechanically you know sending the message to the gauge so if there's if the water temps too high it's actually too high and it's not some weird electrical connection and you know in a saltwater boat endless amounts of corrosion on electrical devices so i've opted for all mechanical gauges and if you have the option i would suggest you do that as well